Now taking a look at the last questions that you're going to be seeing in this assignment, each of these questions actually has two different transformations involved in it. So if you take a look at this particular question, notice I have an x plus 4 here inside the parentheses. That x plus 4, the plus 4 being inside the parentheses, with x means it's moving it in the x direction. Plus moves it to the left, and so this one is going to be moved to the left 4. The minus 6 hanging on the end, it's not in with x, therefore that one's moving it up and down. Minus 6 moves it down 6. And so this particular graph is going to be exactly the same as the original that we have up here, except that we're going to be left 4 and down 6. Other than the fact that there's two different transformations taking place in this particular problem, it's exactly the same as what you've already done in this assignment. You're just putting both pieces together. And if we take a look at some of the other problems that you're going to be seeing through here, you're going to see all those same function types coming back. Just each one is going to be showing up with two different transformations. So just make sure that you're applying both transformations each time, and you're going to be in good shape no matter what type of graph pops up. And all those old graphs, yes, they are still coming up on this for you to be able to apply them to these types of situations.